Hello YouTube, Brita Math here, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Uh, we're picking up right where we left off, and I'm actually thinking that after picking up the Braille Tome, it is probably a good idea to revisit Firelink Shrine so that we uh, might give it to uh, the Maiden there, and oh god, there's Bone Wheel Shields. <laughs> oh no. That just terrified me a lot. Okay, so many confusing things. Uh, tome, made in white, give it to her. Also, who are you again? Um, interesting. Hmm, you're an unkindled, aren't you? I am Sirius of the Sunless Realms, former servant of the Divinity. Duties we each bear. But one's duty is a solitary affair. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Blessing of the moon upon my journey, huh? Interesting. Very stylish armor you have. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. Blessing of the moon. Moon. Now, that's interesting because we did just find the Blue Sentinels Covenant, and the description here kind of finally links the Blue Sentinels in Dark Souls 2 to the Dark Moon Covenant from Dark Souls 1. So I wonder if she is a member of both, you know, the Blue Sentinels slash the Dark Moon. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, she doesn't want to fraternize with us. Perhaps there is some requirement that I do not yet meet. And you are the one that I came for. Oh, Champion of Ash, welcome back. Do you wish to hear a tale? You only have to ask. I do. I wish to give you a divine tome. Give Braille. Okay, so there's going to be multiple divine tomes that we're going to give to her. Interesting. Oh, you've brought me a Braille divine tome. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have. <laughs> oh, I am sure. Well, let's see, what did that do for us? Uh, heal, medium, heal, replenishment. Caressing tears have always been there. Now we've got tears of denial. Grant one chance to endure. Okay, uh, good, good. Miracle taught by Morn, the Archbishop's Apostle. Intended to grant the dying a few moments for a final farewell. Tears are shed for the sake of the living, more so than the deceased. Uh, Homeward, which has always been there. And now we have Force. No direct damage, propels foes back. Okay. Also good against uh, incoming arrows. Relic of the Old Lloyd Faith. I don't think we read all the descriptions on these the last time. Yeah, miracles are the fruit of the study of divine tales, a blessing received from the gods through acts of prayer. Tale of the many deaths surrounding the goddess Katha, of whom Morn was a known follower. And then Morn is the Archbishop. Morn, the Archbishop's apostle who followed Katha, who in Dark Souls Have 2... Have a pleasant journey. I pray for your... Uh, was one of the gods that you could align yourself with for online play to sort of restrict it. And also, um, she was mentioned in the uh, blue and red tearstone rings, if I'm remembering correctly, that they were the goddess Kethas Tears. All right, let's see if we can't uh, pull out another level out of our friend, uh, excuse me, out of our friend back here. You're new. Well, that is an interesting mask and interesting sword you have there. Um, oh, no. No. Did you, did you murderize him? I can't lock on to you. Oh. oh, prithee. Art thou good yours, master? Well, I was. I am Yuria of Londor, a close friend of his. 
Thanks to thee, your soul is redeemed. Allow me to express my gratitude in his stead. The dignified bow. What about the fact that he's dead, lady? Another matter. That a lord art thou not? Bearer of the dark sigil. And our lord of hollows. For the time thou remainst our lord, we of Londor shall serve thee. And I, of course, am also thine. Oh no. What have I gotten myself into? All right. Interesting. She sells... Oh. She has his exact inventory. In fact, uh, as the soul arrow we purchased from him is not available through her. Purging stones. Reduce undead curse build up and cures hollowing. Inhabitants of Londor, the land of hollows, use the secret treasure to feign normalcy. Occasionally a hollow fools even himself and turns on his own kind. Also poison throwing knives. One of my personal favorites used by assassins of Londor, the land of hollows. The poison is jokingly known as hollows blood. A Londor braille divine tomb. Tome. First spoken by Lillian of the Sable Church. Give this to a storyteller to learn miracles of Londor. This is a forbidden tome as it offers salvation to all hollows and conversely curses all things living. Also deceptively cheap and has kind of like the hollows dark sign in the center. Okay. Also a dark hand Haha, <laughs> for uh, 12,000, which we certainly don't have at the moment. An art unique to Londor, the land of the hollows. It is also said to be an ancient relic of the primordial serpent. Dark hand mercilessly saps the essence of his victims. It can also double as a special shield. It cannot be used two-handed. Gives you life drain. Embrace victim and steal their HP as humanity is no longer a mechanic. It can only be used against humans. The untrue dark ring, one of the illusory rings worn by the hollows, retain human appearance even while hollow. The Hollows of Londor are wretchedly aged, fraught with deceit and dubiously secretive. It is no wonder that they are deeply detested. The Untrue White Ring, one of the illusory wing rings, take the appearance of a phantom. Hollows of Londor are wretchedly... Yeah, okay, okay. And Three Rings of Sacrifice. Oh my. Uh, tell you what, let's... I'm gonna dump souls into... Uh, some poison knives for right now, and we will probably be revisiting Yuria later. That a lord art thou not, bearer of the death. For the time thou remainst, and I, of course. Now I wonder, for the again. time the we remain a hollow, or a lord of hollows, she will follow us. Uh, now if I... Oh... That does not return my human visage any longer. Okay. Speak honorable. That a law bearer for the under. Yep. Yep. Okay. Tell me to make the duck. Well, let's see what the other braille tome might get us. Huh. I find it interesting that it sells for 50 souls. That it is... So very, very cheap. Huh. Like, too good to pass up? Oh, Champion of Ash, do you wish to hear a tale? Oh, what's this? Champion of Ash, this divine tome is forbidden. These are dark tales of things that lurk deep within men. These stories would not please you. Of course, if you insist, I will read them for you. Only... Oh, oh, they frighten me so. The little creatures that nibble at me in the darkness. Truly, 
What am I becoming? Okay. Dark Blade. Oh. 10,000 souls, though. The third daughter of Lillian, one of the founders of the Sable Church, is said to recount tales that betray the suffering and conflict of Hollows. Ah, oh, a vow of silence. Members of the Sable Church are all trained swordsmen, each only to their weapons, each sworn only to their weapons as they bear the leaden silence of Londor and dead again. Bless corpses, transforming them into traps. Londor, the Hollow Realm, is a society of undead comprised of the corpses and shades of those who led unsavory lives. Is such blessing really something one must ponder? What is the... Uh, so we're going to need... Faith for these. Or, in this case... Interesting. Both faith and intelligence. Back to uh, Dark Soul... 2's requirement for the dark miracle slash spells. Huh. Okay. Have a pleasant journey, I pray for you. Actually, since oh, giving her those tomes, does she say no, in my home of Karim, I would be pleased although to be a bit if I oh, no. terribly No, nope, no. Nope. Have a pleasant I pray for you. Okay. She says nothing more about that. I hope nothing untoward happens to her as a result of our giving her that uh, dark tome. Um, now... I doubt we've much to get blessing. No? Okay. I was curious with the uh, the dark weapon buff if, uh, if she had anything more to say. And looks like the gentleman up there has vanished again. Gaining admission to the Legion. E I yep, yep. Now we did see three flames in the distance from uh, our current area. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, let me let me check a couple of things really quick here. Uh, nope, nope. That's not what I want. This is what I want. So, in addition. Intelligence. Required to cast sorceries and pyromancies increases spell potency. Magic defense is calculated from this attribute. Faith. Dark defense is calculated. Hmm. I'm wondering which uh, I would prefer more. The magic weapon or the, uh, the dark weapon. Of course... I already have 11 intelligence, and I need something like 30 faith for the other. Okay, uh, a lot of interesting things sort of happened to me there uh, that I'm not entirely sure what to feel about yet. Sellsword twin blades, huh? Paired scimitars. Very cool. So there's going to be more, more paired weapons than just the knives. I'm glad to see that. I did like power stancing as a mechanic uh, in Dark Souls 2. Maybe, I, I would probably say I thought it was cooler than the uh, the skills that I've seen so far in Dark Souls 3. Uh, so I'm glad that there are still some paired weapons, as I sort of liked being able to uh, you know, to get two of a weapon. Oh, hello. And, uh, and power stance it like that. Hmm. And I've also been thinking, um, you know, Dark Souls 2 did have a, oh, hello, uh, a respec mechanic in it. Uh, so we may, you know, have an opportunity to uh, undo some of the character build decisions if it turns out they are not the best for us. Although, I'm certainly not going to want to bank on that. All right. Well, you're extremely easy to backstab. What with uh, trying to use a tree branch as a weapon, I don't know how effective I would consider that, pal. I do hear some creepy moans in the distance. Oh God, there are a lot of you. Okay. Well, uh, if nothing else, 
was that sound? You. Okay, he's trying to dig with it, I think. They're not all the same. That man has a hat. <laughs> Maybe he is their leader. All right. You know, I'm supposed to be the Lord of Hollows. Speaking of your leader, these guys certainly look hollowed. You know, maybe you could cut me a little slack here and stop trying to impale me with trees. I do like the blood on the end of those. Clearly you have had some success with this thing as a weapon. Although, I don't intend to add to that. Um, excuse me? He drops a pike. Clearly that is not a pike. That is clearly a tree. Um... Let me take a look at this pike really quick here. Yep, 18 strength required. Long spear with a very long hilt. Designed for long range thrusting. Has the longest range of non-projectile weapons, but its very length makes it unwieldy and allows you a charge attack. That's weird. They were backing away with their weapon pointed towards me. You know what? Uh, they, they appear to be like migrating in that direction. Tell you what, let me uh, let me just leave you to your business for a little while and see what we've got going on over here. Oh man, that packs a little bit of a wallop. You, you make some really disgusting sounds as you die, my friend. The Titanite Shard, does that, uh, I think that might be exactly how many we need uh, to see another level in the S-Stock. I am enjoying it, certainly. Are those the little tiny crap? Oh, wait a second. Alright, so those are indeed little tiny crabs. That is indeed not a little tiny crab. Alright, anything else I can spy with my little eye out there? No, no, not much. Huh. Well, at least this swamp is not poisonous like swamps of old, and, uh... Hmm, maybe we will just leave, uh, Big Brother Crab to his own devices for a little while here. And I have... Ah, uh, poison. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so in Dark Souls 2, these enemies, uh did uh, like acid damage and did degradation to our weapons and armor. Maybe poison buildup is preferred. That's an interesting line. I wonder if that's just a... Huh. I wonder if that's intentional or if that is a repeating texture that unfortunately lines up that way there's a there's a clear line on the ground here whoa uh hello oh yeah I can lock on to you that's weird you clearly noticed me but uh, decided not to attack for just a moment I thought it might have been an NPC okay uh, so clear line in the ground I wonder if that leads to something Oh, come on. Yeah, I mean, you, you clearly know I'm here. I don't like the fact that your eyes appear to be glowing. Am I, uh... Okay. Oh, you're a lot taller than you, uh, you looked at first glance. Let's get a little distance here, shall we? Whoa. That's a lot of, uh speed for such a big guy. Huh. Getting a very familiar vibe. No? Well, I don't know if I blew that backstab or if uh, you're just not one to be backstabbed. Um, that enemy reminded me a lot of the uh, uh, sort of larger beast men in Bloodborne. Um, the blind ones specifically. 
in just the way they moved, uh, how lateral it was, like from side to side, dashing around us. Do you, do you even attack? Are you... Oh, yeah, you attack. Okay. I thought they might have been a very, uh, you know, like the little tiny mushroom men uh, kind of thing, where they were defenseless denizens and uh, perhaps Big Daddy crab over there was their revenge. All right, let's see. Let's see where this line is leading us. Um, does it just run into this tree? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, more of those guys. It does appear to actually continue after the tree. After the tree. Uh, so I don't have my magic. Oh, that was unblockable. Okay, he bit me. At least I think he bit me. Yeah, he's definitely attacking with his head sometimes. Trying to bite as well as claw at me. Alright, alright. Well, thankfully, yeah, that attack. Thankfully, you are fairly easy to stagger, my friend. Although, no drops. Okay, okay. And let's pick up where our line left off, and uh, it just runs into a boulder here. And sometimes a boulder is just a boulder. Huh. Does that, does that tree look conspicuous to anybody else? The god rays, like, falling on it and its light. Uh, hello. Is that the one I was seeing earlier? Wasn't the other... Like, I thought it was further to the left. Are there multiple giant crabs down here? Oh, yes, there are. Ah. Uh. Do I want to mess with a giant crab man? That tree, though. Look how brightly lit it is. All right, what else was over here? Let's see what else was over here. Door. Enemy. Oh. Okay, it's another one of the, uh, the mutated crystal lizards that we spotted in the tutorial area <sighs> and perhaps another old friend yeah hello black knight hmm have you been wondering all this time I wonder <sighs> I used to love the black knight's ultra great sword like I would restart builds just hoping for one to drop because you can you get like one chance to get one super early in Dark Souls 1 and if uh, if I could get it oh god it stings yeah it does yeah it does oh yep yep that's the edge okay um if you could get it oh man all right rotating that way bad idea rotating this way good idea um yeah i don't i don't think i'm going to stagger this guy quite so easily though um but if you could get it in dark souls 1 oh man really i had a lot more side to side motion than i thought it was going to oh yeah okay that's fine that's fine. Um, then a strength build was suddenly on the menu, um, as this weapon could certainly carry you into the end game. Please, no. <sighs> I don't know if it even has a chance to drop, but we're also spec entirely wrong for something like that. But you know. Nostalgia. Alright, so we have, it looks like two paths here, a lower and an upper. Um, I see an item up on the upper path. Any of you? No? No? Alright. Still no idea. I went through so much of Dark Souls 2 before I realized that pressing X uh, revealed illusory walls that it's almost embarrassing. Um, 
Was this the item I was seeing? It looked like it was on the edge here, but I guess that was just the angle. Okay, a full set of cell swords armor. Uh, let's check that out real quick. The Assassin's Hood sellsword is much heavier, almost twice as heavy, uh, but a lot better defense, not twice as good, and its poison and frost defense are not as good. Uh, its bleed is slightly better. Its poison, frost, and curse aren't as good, rather. Its fire, magic, hmm. lightning, and dark aren't as good either. Let's check that out. Okay, cool uh, Knights of Arabia wrap thing going on, though. Uh, let's check out the rest. 10.8 uh, to 7, huh? Tell you what, let's, uh, let's just equip all of the stuffs real quick. Okay, looks like a fairly heavy set. We are not fat rolling in it though. Metal armor interwoven with coarse cloth, able to endure the hardships of battle and prolonged travel. It is light considering the build, striking a fine balance between absorption and substance. Uh, more like the northern armor, but certainly lighter than the knight armor that we have. But we're getting further and further away from the assassin's armor we started with. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's give it a go at least for a little while here. Oh, maybe this is what I was seeing. Cell sword twin blades. Now that's that doesn't seem like the same kind of twin blade that uh, Dark Souls Two had. Oh no, it is not. Okay, so we've got paired scimitars used by certain cell swords. Okay. The scimitar sharp blades make for effective slashing attacks, but fare poorly against metal armor, tough scale covered hides. Scimitar on each hand, onslaught, spin slash, slice foes, spinning motion. Got it. Let's check this out, shall we? All right, it is certainly a scimitar. Fairly standard scimitar move set. Yeah, yeah. One of the my least favorite things about the scimitar, I'm not really a huge fan of that kick leap thing. Um, roll, oh, oh, okay. I fat roll now, uh, certainly. Let's uh, let's check out the dual wielded. Okay, and my L1s. Okay, and it's the same where it's uh. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, etc., etc. Okay, and running L1 and rolling L1, and finally L2. How does that have multiple? No, no, it's just the one attack repeated. All right, unfortunately, it is a little heavy. I'm not really even using the twin daggers, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, is a little heavy. Maybe not for us. Or at least not for us right now. Ah. Okay, and this was this was just a dead end. Although maybe worth it. So if we could drop down from up there. Oh, well, maybe not. I wonder if we'll ever be on the other side of that. Um, the Farron Coal. You are likely to be a key item. Enable heavy, sharp, and poison infusions. Long ago, used to forge the great swords of the Undead Legion of Farron. Give to the blacksmith. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it was, sh the, 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 it was sharp, heavy, and poison, right? Okay. Uh, heavy is. Leaning more towards strength, sharp is leaning more towards dex, poison is, well, you get the idea. Okay. So that's that's probably our, our, our very basic of upgrade infusion coal things, right? Like, just giving us access to heavy and sharp. That makes sense. Um, 
Oh, I love it. He walks sideways. Oh, I don't love it. I don't love it. He attacks sideways. Okay. Let's try not to repeat that. You are oddly... Okay. Both of your hands are dangerous. I see. Uh, I'm having... Uka flashback. Oh, uh, excuse me? <laughs> uh, I was about to say, I'm having flashbacks from Darkest Dungeon and the, the Ukka that was found there. Oh, that attack looked like it was going to sting. Unfortunately, it was a little slower than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you do... Uh... uh, Excuse me? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm... I'm not okay with whatever is about to happen here. It burrowed into the ground? Is that it? Did it come back up? It had to have. Oh my god. Why can it burrow? I don't know if I even should be as scared of it as I am, but that was terrifying. For a moment there, I was like, huh, it appears to have just gotten stuck doing nothing. And then... Boom. It... What? It's back at full HP? This is the same one, right? It has to be. There wasn't a second one. It can burrow and heal? I'm not... I'm not digging this. Oh, wow. Uh, that was unexpected. Okay. Yep, yep. Water hose time. So are these things, I wonder, are these things permanent fixtures down here and that you don't actually aim to kill them? Oh god. No, no, no. Not good. Not good. <sighs> perhaps you, uh, perhaps you can't kill them. Perhaps they are guarding something. Oh, we are in much deeper water. Nope. Nothing from that. Alright. We are suddenly very, very slow as the water increased past our ankles. Oh, God. Yeah, I think that's a clear sign that I do not want to go this way. Please leave me be. Just... I'm gonna I'm gonna chill in here. You just go back to doing you. Hmm. Uh, you know what? After the uh, the dead end we hit here, uh, we did tick on a black knight. There is like nothing for me here. There is nothing for me here. I am just gonna head back to the bonfire last rested at, which might actually be the shrine shrine bonfire. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, depending on how it understood me traveling. I guess we might as well find out how that mechanic works now. Um, we didn't actually rest after we teleported, though. Okay. Did show back up on the Road of Sacrifice. Um, I'm trying to process the giant crab enemy. Um, it's unkillable? Or... <sighs> Oh, and we can drop off over here. I didn't even see this. I got uh, I got so tied up with the tree branch man. Huh. Is this just leading us? Oh, no, no. There are definitely items. Just a soul. I wonder. Uh, so is it, uh, this is just giving us an expedient way to get over here. Um... I guess so that if you die and want to make a, well, a quick run back, but then you've still got these guys. Ugh. Okay. Um. Oh, and they're not, they're not walking this time. Hmm. Let's see if we can't pull. You know what? <laughs> Let's see if we can't reset this situation, shall we? Um. 
All right, so I'm, I'm going to refer to them as, uh, as Akas, uh, which are a, a type of crab, I think. Uh, although, in my particular instance, they are an enemy from another video game. Um, the Akka crab things that are out there, they... It seems like they might be killable if... Um, when you get them down to, like, half health, it seems like they sort of freeze up for a while, um, like preparing to burrow, and then they burrow underground. So it seems like you have to deal the final 50% of their HP before they're able to get away. Otherwise, they're... Oh, man. Otherwise, they're able to heal themselves back up to full. I actually just kind of saw it. You have a gnarly looking face, man. Like, really. Can we... No. Uh, yeah, I kind of see it on you. Ugh. Not good. Not good. Is that what? Is that what my future holds if I continue down this hollowed lord path? Oh, God. Okay. But yeah, um, I don't think we have the damage output, truth be told to uh, to deal with something like that. Um, it also turned out my hunch seemed incorrect. That tree, although it looked special, did not uh, appear to do anything. Um, I got, you know, I didn't get an interaction prompt. I was able to attack it and nothing happened. I was hoping for like a health bar to appear or something like that. Uh, I got a lot more of these little mushroom Things. I don't even know what to call those enemies. Um, a lot more of them down there, too. Okay. So where is progress in this level? One of the god rays coming down. This time just on right there. Let's, uh, let's do it this way. Oh, wow. Thinking we hit them once before we backstab them so that the backstab gets the kill. Lovely. Yeah, I did that the last time, too. So where is progress in this level? It's not to the far right. That dead ends. Is it through the crabs? Do we need to go that way? I see some items over there, certainly. Uh, or is it off to the left? We're probably going to explore off to the left. However, we are not going to do that this time. I, uh... I apologize, I don't think we made a lot of progress in this episode, although the interactions we had back at Firelink Shrine, they ended up taking me longer than I thought they were going to. Um, there was an additional NPC, there were two additional NPCs there. Um, the whole extra tomb, tome, whatever, I'm probably going to continuously mispronounce that word, um, as well as our sort of newfound status as the Lord of the hollows um, and that all took up a little bit more time than I uh, than I anticipated uh, but we did get at least one path taken care of and it looks like there's gonna be a shortcut later uh, that unlocks that again and allows us to get back from there uh, but for now we picked up some sellsword equipment and uh, we'll be picking up here again in the next episode I hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did feel free to subscribe more content on the channel every day Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other videos, and I will catch you guys next time.